Hello everybody. Happy 4th of July. Today we're bringing you another episode of Triple F. I'm going to love good. <laughs> so my lovely assistant is uh, wearing Luna Lovegood's awesome shades there. So she's rocking them. Like only Luna can and she can. So today... Um, as the title says, and as you can see by her Harry Potter shirt and her Luna Lovegood glasses, that today is going to be another Harry Potter video. And the reason why we keep doing these Harry Potter videos is because they keep coming out with merch. So if they're going to come out with merchandise, we're going to share that with you. So, merch! So we just want to let you know um, what's available in stores right now. And so um, yesterday I went to two stores... I'm not going to name the second store until I show you the item, but the first store I went to, of course, is Target um, on the way home from work, and I noticed that um, I actually stopped at two different Targets because I'm still looking for the Basilisk. Um, I called again this morning. It is not available. Uh, they said hopefully by Friday, so keeping our fingers crossed, um, but moving on. So I went to two different stores, and at one store I found quite a few items and at the other store it's both targets um, the other store had absolutely zero items so I thought that was interesting how certain targets might have certain stuff right now and another ones don't but the first one I went to had quite a bit of stuff and I'm gonna share that with you today so um, we do have some Funko Pops to get into um, and some rock candy and some vinyl and stuff like that to get into all Harry Potter related but the first things I want to show you, um, the, I found these at Target. So definitely, if you if you like what you see, definitely head over to Target and pick these up. Um, they had four iron-on patches by Harry Potter. And so the first one here is the International Association of Quidditch World Cup. And so this is an iron-on patch. And I love the theme of Harry Potter, how they have them in that new white, that new white... Um, that new white box with the gold Harry Potter letters. Um, it just really stands out. Um, and everything uh, that's coming out right now with Harry Potter. If it's original Harry Potter, it's going to have that white, just like you're seeing here. That white background uh, with the gold Harry Potter. And that's how you know it's, you know, this is from Warner Brothers, so it's original. Um, and that's a pretty cool patch there. I don't want to get too close, because um, I don't want the screen to get blurry. But there you go. That's one patch. There's actually four patches all together. So, um, my assistant's going to show you the other patch. Um, this is a seeker that has the Gryffindor lion on it. So, that's another iron-on patch. Now, you can also sew these on as well. I prefer to sew these on. Um, but that's another iron-on patch that you can find at Target. That one is really cool. Now, this is... Um, the Griffin, this, I'm sorry, this is the um, Hogwarts uh, symbol with patch with all the different houses on it, which I absolutely love it. I love that it's black and it surrounded itself in gold. And so this is probably my favorite patch out of all of them just because, um, you know, it's got all the different houses in Hogwarts, all the four houses, and then it's got that gold um, ring around the black, which really pops. And so... The last patch here, this is just a Seeker from Quidditch. And that one looks cool as well because it's black and gold. And again, you can find these. If you like any of these, you can find these at Target. Um, they are out in stores now. So that's really cool. Just wanted to share some patches with you. Um, if you'd like to put patches on jackets or on backpacks, uh, they're pretty neat. Now the next ones I'm going to show you is... Um, okay, so I'm going to show you two of these, and my daughter's going to show you two of these. Hopefully she can read with those glasses on. <laughs> so me, Hold on, let me get close real quick. I can, I can let them know who it is when you hold it up. So these, oh, are, no, these, know, are, these. these are pins. So um, they're double back pins. I'll just show you there. They're double back pins. So... You can pin these on jackets just like you can patches. You know, put them on jackets, put them on backpacks, whatever you want. So these are brand new Harry Potter uh, enamel pins. They got, I call them double back because they're, they're two pins in the back. 
but these are really cool because they're shaped as the flags. Um, but here you have Slytherin. Now, again, it's going to be hard to really get a close-up um, in that camera there, but that's Slytherin. It's really cool. Then I'll let my daughter show one. Um, so this one is, is Gryffindor. Don't put it upside down. There you go. This one is Gryffindor. <laughs> so her arms are shorter than mine, as you can see. <laughs> so I'll carry it closer to the camera. There you go. See, that's a good shot right there. As long as it zooms in, that's a great shot of Gryffindor. And you can see the the H on the bottom there, which is cool. Let me see if I can do that same thing with the Slytherin. Let me see if I can get a great shot with the Slytherin. See, those snakes just mess up the camera. <laughs> so then the next one my daughter's going to show you is Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Don't this black out. She really wants to get close to the camera there, so she's getting out of her seat. <laughs> but it's still kind of blurry. So if, if you, the trick is to kind of go in slow and pause and let it adjust, and that still doesn't work. <laughs> And it still so, doesn't work. But you got Hufflepuff. And then, of course, this is my house. I've never mentioned that, I don't think. But I'm Ravenclaw. So that is the Ravenclaw pen, which has a... Well, it's got the colors, the blue in there. So I think it's got the raven in there as well. But um, there's a good shot. That's a decent shot of it right there. I know it keeps going in and out. Sorry, guys, but they do have these four pens available. They got all four of them available at Target. So I was able to pick these up as well. So happy I got these. Um, now there's something else they got at Target, but we're going to save those for last because that's going to be part of an unboxing. So we will be unboxing six items today. I'm not going to tell you what they are until the very end. So definitely, if you're watching the video, stay tuned because we're getting to that unboxing here very soon. So before I get into... Um, the other, uh, I said I went to two stores. I went to two Targets. I went to one other store that I'm going to name next. And then I went to, um, actually before I went to any of the Targets, I went to Hot Topic on the way to Target. So at Hot Topic, online and in stores, they now have Nearly Headless Nick. Ah, sorry about the hiccup, sir. So there he is. So I ended up picking up Nearly Headless Nick. And they do have these in stock at Hot Topic right now. If they don't have it in your area, you can order it from HotTopic.com. Or if you don't have a Hot Topic in your area, definitely go to HotTopic.com and you can get Nearly Headless Nick. And as you can see in the back, and this is something I said about in another video, Nearly Headless Nick does not have his head tilted. But you see how his head's tilted there? But it's not tilted there. So I think Funko messed up on that little design there. doesn't make anything more valuable. It's just a mistake by Funko. But his head has to be nearly headless, so it's got to be tilted, so you kind of get that look. And then that's, you know, his translucent, per se, image of the ghost of nearly headless Nick. So, again, they are dropping another one of these that's going to be a glow-in-the-dark at the Comic-Con, along with Moaning Myrtle. So, hope, uh, excited to get those. Somebody mentioned yesterday, again, the list isn't out yet, I'm looking. There's some fake lists out there, or there's some lists out there that are not official, so I'm not bringing them to you guys yet. And But not from that list, but from somebody saying that they saw it on the list, which I don't know, I, I, can't, I don't want to confirm nothing, but supposedly Moni Myrtle is going to be a GameStop exclusive um, for the Comic-Con. But we, we'll see. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold off all that. You know, until I actually get the official list that Funko uh, puts out themselves. So there's Nearly Headless Nick. So that is really awesome. So I've completed my entire set of the back. So I have all seven of these. So not only that, but I also have the um, Barnes & Noble Tom Riddle. I have the 10-inch Dobby. And I have... Um, I'm missing something. Uh... The the snake or oh no i don't have him yet but yeah oh, yeah i think i'm missing one more i'm not thinking of it on top of my head okay so i went to barnes and noble to look for their mystery minis um because when i call over the phone 
they don't know what category it's in and everything. So they're, they're, they're struggling to, to find those. So I went to the store looking for the mystery minis so I can do another unboxing. They didn't have any available, but I did find, and I wasn't expect. I knew these were coming out in July. I just didn't expect to see them on July the third, so early. So after I left work as well, I stopped. I stopped at a lot of stores on the way home, um, but I ended up finally. And I did tell you there's a couple more of these um, besides the four that I showed you in another video, which the four are Ron, Harry, Lord. I won't say his name, and um, Dumbledore. So here is. Neville Longbottom and this is a Barnes and Noble exclusive and here's the best shot of him without getting blurry so he's holding that sword but I love his sweater and his pants and the detail to his face I'm gonna try to get as close as I can by giving you the best shot available I'm really gonna push the envelope here and see if I can get him in there there's just so much lighting from natural lighting from the outside to the ring light to everything um, to have the perfect lighting on us sometimes that causes glares but there he is and you can see the sword there he looks really cool so those are the four that that are common that you can find at any location that carries Funko Pops and rock candy but this is just another reason why and you see that white with that gold here I just love it like it's so clean it's so smooth I love it like even the rock candy is like uh, trimmed in gold so again any new item that's harry potter has to come in this white and that gold and so if you don't see that and that's the comment on the mystery minis the boxes of the mystery minis the boxes of the vinyls the rock candy the fungal pops um any of the patches any of the pins they all come in that white and gold looks really nice so there's neville long bottom there so i finally got the long and weighted barnes and noble harry potter vinyl two pack with Hermione and Ron now on another video I showed you guys the regular two pack I got um, where they're both smiling this one Hermione has her evil little grin and Ron looks like he's scared out of his wits and um, I want to look at one thing real quick because I want to say Ron is holding a snake but I don't know Hold on, let me see. no he's holding okay boomerang. no no he's holding his broken wand his, when his wand breaks and he puts like tape on it, you know, like tape on the glasses that that people do sometimes. Yeah, he taped his wand. Okay. I, I didn't think it was a snake, but I looked closer and it was his broken wand. So that's probably why he's sad because he has his broken wand and Hermione just has that little grin with her, with her hands on her hips. And she is carrying her wand in her uh, left hand. So here we go. Here is the um, Barnes & Noble exclusive for the vinyl two-pack. Of Hermione and Ron now I showed you guys a lot many times that I have a vinyl collection and this is another reason why I buy vinyl because it is so awesome it's made by Funko um, just like the rock candy is um, and I love 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 and I'm gonna see if I can get his broken there he goes you see his broken one right there yeah that's a great shot of his broken one with tape on it just like in the movie and then Hermione there has her wand that one's gonna be hard to get because it's behind her hand but yeah there's Ron sad with his broken wand so that Take is it a to the side yeah maybe um or yeah see. let me see that might be a good idea Sophia let me see um it's kind of under her hair but it's like yeah you can see it there you go if you look closely with her hand right there you can see that that, that wand. brown stick. there it is there it is you see her holding the wand right there that's a good shot of it or a decent shot of it so this is what's on the back so of course they show parts from the movie the two young loves but I gotta say um, love all the Harry Potter movies huge fan huge nerd for Harry Potter but um, I, I just I just love these finals, man. They bring so much care. They just bring so much character, um, and and a two pack. I just love them, man. I man, I, I absolutely love these guys. And so, um, so that's it with the Funko related um, rock candy, Funko Pop, and vinyl. So now something that you can find at Barnes and Noble that we're gonna open up in front of you. And believe me, when there's a box at Barnes and Noble, I'm I'm sorry. 
let me let me refresh that. Um, you can find the vinyl and rock candy at Barnes and Noble. These are at Target, okay? And um, when I see these are at Target, I have six of them. They were four ninety nine each, so five dollars each. I got six of them, um, but in the box itself, I didn't count. But I think there's like thirty of these things. So thirty times five is you know close to a hundred bucks. I didn't want to go, and there might actually be more than thirty because there's a lot. The box is like humongous. But we have Harry Potter wands, and this is really cool because you can see it says collector set. Let me get it to where you guys can see it. Collector wand, okay? So I'm showing you have six boxes here. Collectible wand. So that's what it looks like in the front. They all have the same. They all look exactly the same. The wand chooses you. Well, if you pick one, it probably does. But if you pick six, then the wand doesn't necessarily choose you. You're just going to keep digging until you find the one that you want. So um, I'm going to look for a picture of all of these wands online if I can find it at the end of this video I will put that picture up and I'll leave it up there for about 20 seconds at the end of the video so you guys can actually take a look at it because it is way too hard to zoom in and f and see what each and every one of these wands are but there are 12 wands all together okay and there are four inch die cast wand with a stand I've never opened these. I'm not even sure what to expect, except that they're going to be wands, and they're going to be awesome. So we're going to open one at a time, okay? And so I'm going to open up mine first. Now this just has like just a small little piece of tape here on the top, so it opens up fairly easily. And okay, well that's the box is empty, so it comes just like this. So that's the stand it comes with. So the wand that looks pretty cool. So the I'll put it together for you guys. I just want to show you right now. So I'm not sure, again, because these wands, I mean, these wands are so small, um, I can't even, it's hard to read. I can see Harry Potter, uh, Wait, maybe Bellatrix you... Lestrange. Um, you want me to take my glasses off to... No, today? well, you can if you want to. That's fine. You can take them off. So. Whoa. <laughs> I wish I could tell you which one this is. I'm going to say this is based on the pictures here because I wish they came with a card or something because it is hard to see. I'm going to say this is Harry Potter's wand, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah. I could have brought my glasses for this video. I just didn't think about it. So... <laughs> That's yeah. not the wand you get in the box. <laughs> that is a wand you get at Barnes and Noble, or in our case, we got that one last year uh, at Harry Potter, Wor Wizardly World of Harry Potter in Orlando, Florida. We are going again in uh, August, so next month. And when we go again, I will be um, bringing you guys some, I'm going to be doing some uh, vlogging while I'm out there and be posting some stuff as I'm down there. So, this is the stand, okay? So, it came in two pieces. It, the bottom part just clicks right on. So, that's the stand. And, actually, I think you have to put the wand through here first. It looks really cool. Then you have to click the stand on. Here, can I see, try to figure out which one? I think it's Harry Potter. And I'll show you, I'll show you the wand up close. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Harry Potter. Wait, hold on. So that's what, what if, it. What if I get Luna Love Goods? <laughs> well, I hope to get them all, right? But we only have six today. So that's what it looks like when it's in its stand. Let me see which well, one my one right here. You know what? Is. We're going to skip the stand part because it's going to take too long in the video. So I'll put them back in the box. I just want to show you the wand. So this is die cast metal. And that is. And so that, I'm going to go like that. That is the wand. Yeah, that's Harry Potter's wand. I think I know which one this big wand is. Okay. Something with gray back. Okay. So, 
can do little spells. So here's one of the wands, and again, I think this one is Harry Potter, just based on the yeah. pictures in the back. Definitely Harry Potter. Yeah, it's Harry Potter. Sorry, I'm putting my wand away. Okay, so the next box I'm going to have uh, my daughter open up. We got four more to go. That was pretty easy. Okay, so let, let me see. Go ahead and open it up. I'm just going to look in the middle. Okay, so while you're opening up, I'm going to try to find which one that is. I think this is... No. I want to say that's... Let me see. Well, go ahead and open it up. I want to say that's Luna Lovegood's wand. No, because it doesn't have the brush at the end. Oh, okay. Well, she's got two wands, just in case you guys... If you guys remember Wait. or not. She does have two. What I'm saying, in the movie, she's got two wands. But yes... The Luna Lovegood one does have the brush. In this collection, it's the brush at the end, so she's right. When she means brush, she means the broom. Like, the almost the broom look on the end. Can't so as, Okay, so as she's struggling to open up a piece of plastic... Hold on, I think... This is the wand that we got. Let me see. It's Alba's Dumbledore's wand. This is Dumbledore? Yeah. You sure? You got better eyes than I do without my glasses on. Here, let me see it. Hold on. Before you just start grabbing it, I'm showing it. <laughs> so it's got the one, two, three, four. It's got four little um, stubs in the middle. Of the yeah, 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 yeah. It's Albus Dumbledore's. Okay, so we got Dumbledore's one? Yeah, I got Dumbledore's Oh, yeah, I can see it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's right. So that's Dumbledore's one. So here's a stand. Okay, so go ahead and I'm going to open up another one of these. So, um, I hope we don't get any repeats because I really like picked, like I really randomly picked in the, so, so, wow. <laughs> so, so far we don't have any, any copies. So I'm going to leave the plastic in there because that seems to take a long time to, yeah, that's just the stand. So as you can look at that one real quick. And try to figure out whose one that is in the picture while I show it to the camera. Okay. Um, this is the next wand. Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> I know which one you got. Who'd I get? Hermione. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. I wish I could tell just by looking at them who they were. Um, but there's just so much detail in these wands. It's really hard. I mean, it's... Some of you fans might know immediately, which is awesome. Um, but because they're smaller, I mean, if these were bigger wands, I know a lot of the big ones when I see them, like the ones my daughter showed you from from the Wizzly World. I mean, yeah, the Wizzly World of Harry Potter in Orlando. Wizzly. Or you can go to Barnes & Noble and pick those up as well. Um, but yeah, that looks like it is Hermione's wand. Yep. And I'm double checking to see here. I'm smart. I'm not saying you're not. I'm already opening. Things. Yeah, it looks like Hermione's one. So we got Hermione, Harry, and Dumbledore. And with my Harry Potter mug, mug, it's I like will drink muggles. some coffee, not any tea. Or is it tea? Or is it tea spiked with something? Wait, okay. hold on. This kind of looks like the one I have. The one you were just holding? Yeah. Okay. So let me show it to this on screen. Wow. This one's very simple. So I would call this a boring wand just because it doesn't have a lot of... I mean, it really just looks like a stick with two little <laughs> things. It's Draco Malfoy. Oh, is it? Yes. Draco, you have a boring wand, dude. <laughs> I don't care if you're Slytherin or whatever the heck you are. He's Slytherin. But that is a boring wand. There's no detail to it except for those two little things. And it's pretty smooth all the way around. I would say quite boring, Mr. Malfoy. Quite mm -hmm. boring indeed. <laughs> but you can see, look at that. I mean, it just looks like a stick. Right? So, it's still cool. Don't get me wrong. It's cool. But it's boring. So you have a boring wand, Mr. Malfoy. So... I'm going to open up one now. We got two more to go. Pretty excited about these. Um, 
And did I get Harry Potter again? Oh, did, I, no. did I already get a duplicate? Oh my god, I think you did. Did I? Hold on. Yep, you got Harry Potter. Did I get another Harry Potter one? He looks familiar with the first one. Wait, hold on, which one? Are you sure it's not that one? Give me no, one. because... No, because Snape has, like... Okay, it's the same one I got in the first one, so it is Harry Potter's one. Yeah, I'm gonna show it. We'll see, you're, the thing is, you're covering the... There you go. <laughs> Again, Harry Potter. So... I already opened the top of mine, but I... So, we did get a duplicate. Now, there's 12 wands, and... Hoping I got six good. boxes. I was hoping to get six different ones, but you know duplicates are gonna happen um, Let me know in the comments below um, Before we wrap up the video. Do you like us unboxing these wands? If so, I will be more than happy to get more and unbox them more for you if you actually like uh, Seeing who's... these unboxing of the wands. Is this a new one? Okay, good. I already know who this is just by looking. At okay, them. so I'll let you do she'll close out the video here Okay, so we got McGonagall's wand. Who? Professor McGonagall. Yep. Mirnira. Mirnerva. 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 <laughs> so I will. Let me. Now I, I want to hold it just a little bit closer because I like to put it right above my forehead. <laughs> Dad, a wand fell. Can I go get it real quick? So there you go. So these are really cool wands. Again, you can get these at Target. There's 12 to collect. And um, they're pretty awesome. I mean, you can do little spells with them. So, I got a bigger one. So um, there's the one that fell. Dumbledore's, right? Is that Dumbledore's? Yep. So, Dumbledore, poor Dumbledore. So I'm actually going to set these up on my desk uh, in the stand. Um, what I'll probably do is, um, um, I'll take a picture of these posted up on my stand and I'll probably put them in my next, um, unboxing video because I'm going to buy more of these and, um, definitely, uh, do some more unboxing of the wands. Now, I think this is really cool, right? So, um... Again, you can get these ones. This is what they look like in the box. You can get these at Target. And they have their box is humongous. Um, so literally, I think there's like 30 to 40 uh, boxes. And there's 12 to collect, so you definitely want to get all 12. Um, I, I'm going to look for a picture online. Again, if there is one, I will put that at the end of this video. And I want to say that there is... Um, there is some really cool different ones there. Um, there's one from Lord... You know who? Uh, Luna Lovegood. I was hoping for that one. But... Um, oh, wow. Newt has one in here, too. Okay. Oh. Um, Ron Weasley. Goldstein. And then um, Trina Goldstein. Snape has one. Uh, Lestrange has one. Bellatrix Lestrange. Um, hers is easy because it looks like it's bent or broken. Um, and then Draco, of course, has one. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll, I'll throw it up here. Magic. I'll go ahead and throw it up here at the end of the video if there is one I can find online. And if not, um, then there won't be one. So, I have a magic thanks for watching the video. I appreciate you guys for joining us. Um, today is 4th of July, so I want to say happy 4th of July to everybody out there. Um, tonight, if you live in America and you are going to be celebrating 4th of July, um, celebrate it safely. Uh, there's going to be a lot, unfortunately, on 4th of July uh, here in America. There's a lot of um, excitement, you know, because it's our Independence Day. It's one of the biggest days for us out of the year. Um, and so what I would suggest is please don't drink and drive. Um, don't put anybody's life in danger. It's not worth it. Um, I say that because there's a lot of people that get drunk on 4th of July. Get drunk all you want, but just be safe. Don't drive. Um, let somebody else drive for you. And um, just be safe tonight. Um, it's it's a celebration of our independence here in the United States, but it's it's not. Um, we we don't want to go to anyone's 
you know, no one should have to go to someone's funeral tomorrow or the, or not funeral tomorrow, but funeral in the next couple of days because they made a mistake tonight. So be very careful. Uh, enjoy the fireworks. Enjoy the festivities. Have a lot of fun. Just be safe doing it. Thanks again for watching my video. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. I hope you liked it. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see another video with us unboxing these wands. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.